I repaired my Singer Memomatic selection box. It only worked for a few hours, but maybe the steps to repair it are helpful for you. My Singer came with this Memomatic, but it only worked sometimes and only incomplete. When the light, the little red light here came on, it started to work, maybe for one row, but as I switched to the next row, it didn't work anymore. Plus, eventually the light went off and it didn't work at all. After a couple of days of trying, the light stopped coming on completely and it did not work. So, I opened it up. You have a bunch of screws here in the back. I think a total of seven screws. And you should also remove those should remove those metal connectors to the singer and then you can lift it off. You may want to lift it off like that so all your little gadgets in your drawers don't fall out. So let me move that to the side. When you turn it around you can see the transformer it steps down the voltage from 240 to about 18 or 20 volts. And here is where your power supply goes. So let me plug it in. So I have here a little voltmeter. And if I check out the load side of it, I get about 230, 80 volts. 40. I live in the US but I have a little step up converter and if I look on the other side it currently shows about 15 volts. So this is how we attempted to fix it. First of all we took your fuse out and cleaned all the contacts. We used some fine sandpaper for that. The next thing we did is we removed that cover, connected the selection box and measured these contacts. The selection box at that time produced 22 volts, but nothing arrived here at the contacts. As the next thing, we took some fine sandpaper and sanded these co contacts here. We also sanded the metal plate on that side at the bottom on the left side because that's where the basically the ground contact is. We also sanded the respective co contacts here one, two, three, four and try it again. Bingo! This did the trick and it started to work. This is how it works. The entire chassis is basically the the ground but here go the signals go into here and I don't know exact how the insides of the details work but the, the power is then routed through this metal band onto that cursor here. That cursor has contact points. It's a little hard to see but you can see the three contact points. With the contact points we saw it goes either into the Power floats either through this connector here or on the other side, depends which way you push. And then it activates, you can see down here, you can see a little magnet. It magnetizes that little metal plate you see here. So this is your needle. Your needle normally comes in like this way and pushes through those ranks. But it's amazing if this is magnetized with enough voltage, it's getting pulled up. It's always a little magnetic, you can feel that, but it's not enough to pull it up. Once you put 20 volts, at least 18 volts on here, and you pull your needle through, you can really feel how it's pulled up and it goes the other route. This is how you install that nozzle 
with that side going onto here. And then you keep turning that nozzle until a brown dot shows up here. So, oh, here's my brown dot. You then make sure your cursor, those contacts in the cursor, are directly at the zero. And you plug in your machine and tighten it. Then I bring the selector knob to the line I want to knit. In this case it's one, 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 one. And I plug it in. It's now plugged in and you can see the red light. My carriage is to the right and the cursor is to the right. I have several needles on position one. But my carriage is turned off to do nothing. I push that knob here and let's see if something happens now. If I push it over, the needles that reflect the red little dots on my Mimomatic should push out to position 2. Unfortunately, this is the demo effect and it didn't work anymore. When I checked my output voltage from the transformer, I only got about 16, maybe 17 volt if I'm lucky. Again, that's not enough. So my problem is not solved, but maybe this video helps you to solve your problem.